What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about add-ons for ESO. So this is, in my opinion, the most important add-ons that you can get for ESO and probably the best ones that you can get and the most helpful that are going to help you not only level but do the things you need to do, get everything that you need, and keep you managing everything the way that you need to. So the first one I'm going to talk about is called Awesome Info. So basically what this is if you can see up in the corner here this uh, has the time it has how many skill points I have available my bag space how much durability my uh, weapon has how much enchant it has I mean it'll show your dur durability as well it'll tell you what you can research in your uh, as far as traits go it'll tell you when your mount training is available and there's other stuff that you can turn on as well it'll just give you some very useful info to remind you what you have available and uh, what's important so the next one is guild store add-on so basically this one I'm not gonna go all the way to the guild store to show you guys but it helps you in the guild store when you're trying to buy stuff and even adds a search bar so you don't have to just scroll through everything and that's super useful when you're looking for a specific piece of gear or a specific item so I would definitely recommend getting this one <clears throat> and I don't know why I've went without it for so long next one is inventory grid view now this one's all about personal preference but it sets your inventory in like little icons instead of like a list so it makes it a little more compact especially if you have a large inventory space I just personally like it because I can see everything a little bit easier and don't have to scroll down through stuff reading everything so I think that's pretty useful as well um, that's all personal preference that's up to you guys if you actually want to get that one the next one is itemization browser now this one is uh, kind of a new one because it came out with one tam Tamriel so basically what you do is you can bind it to one of your keys that's very important you have to bind it to a key and you can see all the different types of gear there are in the game I mean there's a fuck ton of stuff in the game now so this makes it a little bit easier to know where to get this gear so you can actually even search it by certain things overland is the new way that you get certain types of gear and it shows you what zones it in it's in it shows you what type of armor it is and if you can if it says mixed it's different type of armor um, for dungeons it'll show you where the monster helmets drop from and you can even just search it so I'll be running uh, silks of the sun eventually and it tells me it's light armor and it drops in stonefall it tells you the stats it pulls everything up so you can link it in chat see you just right click it and it links it in chat automatically so this is very very useful for one Tamriel and I'm very grateful for whoever actually made that out on because it is it is awesome then the next one we got we're gonna categorize the next two into the same thing along with uh, sky shards so lore books mundus map and sky shards so basically you're gonna pull up your map and it's gonna show you where every single sky shard is it's gonna show you where every single lore book is and it's gonna show you where all the mundus stones are as well so you don't have to go to um, the internet and try and search where every single thing is it's just gonna pull it up right on your map these three are probably some of the most important ones that you can get so even if you don't want any of the other ones get those for sure next one is price tracker so it'll show you on your items exactly how much something is going uh, I don't have it set up right now which I need to go ahead and do but I'm not max level yet so it doesn't matter that much but once I set it up I can hover over an item and it'll tell you how much it's going for on the auction house so that's pretty useful if you're into trading and everything and wanting to make a lot of money in this game so I definitely recommend it for that <clears throat> uh, the next one is Surrendar Surrendar is one of the more important ones for PvP and PvE if you can see here in the corner of my screen there is um, it shows my buffs that are currently active over here it'll show uh, buffs that I actually put on myself like if I use wings for example well if it'll let me so if I use wings it'll put it there in the corner as you can see if I use spikes it'll come up with all my different buffs that I have those are my short-term buffs 
has my long-term buffs already up here. It'll show my deep, uh, my debuffs wherever I decide to put them on the screen. It'll put, show my targets debuffs, my targets buffs up here on the screen. So you can set it up whichever way you want it to be. But I think this is very useful, and unfortunately, um, this the add-ons are part of the reason that I switched from Xbox to PC because I think some of these things are things that should have been built into the game already, especially showing the buffs on your screen. I really think that's important, and I really think that should have been built in with the game, and I hope at some point they do build it in so that Xbox and PS4 actually have that available to them. Alright, so slightly improved experience bar that's just kind of personal preference it shows um, when I gain experience with different skill lines at the top of my screen and keeps my experience bar pulled up uh, that's just kind of something that I want uh, and the last one that I'll talk about for right now is trait buddy so trait buddy basically helps you with um, learning your traits with crafting and it helps you keep up with which traits you have and which ones you don't have. I'm not going to pull it up on the screen because I haven't configured it yet because I'm just I'm just starting out so I don't have most traits anyway. So later on when I start running out of uh, running out of different traits that I need and trying to find specific ones I'll configure it and start using it. Um, just as a bonus there's one called Advanced UI and it lets you pretty much customize every single thing on your UI. Um, I didn't like it because it made my screen too cluttered, so I have it turned off right now. And I don't know if I'm ever going to use it, but it might be something that you guys want to check out if you don't like where your health bar and everything is positioned. And uh, it gives you a mini map in the corner. It gives you a couple extra things on the screen. I just didn't like how that was doing but it it is very very customizable so you might want to check it out if you don't like the current layout of the game but yeah guys that's pretty much it for um, the add-ons that I use right now and if I come up with any important ones I'll make a separate video on them if you like this subscribe like comment and I'll see you guys in the next video peace